thank God that that area of the school stayed together. As you can see, everything else fell apart. Tornadoes touching down from the Oklahoma sky, tearing up everything in their path. A long process of rebuilding is just getting started. At the same time, we're hearing miraculous stories of survival, and that is wonderful. Yes. Good evening, everyone. I'm Heather Holman. And I'm Kevin Ogle. Two of the areas hit hardest during last night's storms, Earlsboro and the town of Seminole, which is now reeling from a second tornado strike in less than a week. News Force Bria Barrett is there and begins our team coverage. This tornado ripping through the Academy of Seminole. In fact, I am standing on a large piece of roofing material. If you take a look over here, debris wrapped around this flagpole. And if you look over here, this SUV car windows blown out in the storm. Um, this one is very surprising because Seminole really has never had a tornado hit inside the town like this. Daylight revealing overwhelming damage in Seminole. Heartbreak. But we're tough. We're, we're the heart of the oil field. It's just surreal that this is happening. I wish none of this was happening. Power lines snapped, glass shattered, and almost every building in downtown Seminole left scarred. But thank the Lord nobody was hurt. Uh, I was just touring the, the, uh, the charter school here. In that charter school, the Academy of Seminole left in shambles. Debris from the building scattered across the property. The only thing I could do was pray. Uh, I had told my husband we needed to get in the hallway. It's the same building a mom of seven used to seek shelter. Her husband and son holding a restored gun vault door shut as the twister tore through. It took everything they had to keep it shut, but thank God that that area of the school stayed together. As you can see, everything else fell apart. The mom says when she and her family walked out, the roof was gone. This portable restroom flipped upside down. But residents' faith remains unshaken, despite a tornado striking on Monday, and now a second one just 48 hours later. Everybody's pulling together to get everybody through this. And we will get through it. We will fight through it. I'm just so happy that everyone's safe. We can rebuild this, and we will very quickly. In Seminole, Bria Berry, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Bria, thank you. City leaders are telling us structural engineers will soon assess the damage to the buildings in the downtown area of Seminole to make sure that they are safe to be used again.